I'm James Spann. This is the morning weather extreme video for Monday, the 7th of May. A little unsettled here for the first half of this week. And then later in the week, a nice surge of cooler and drier air drops in. We'll check some of the sky cam shots around the network this morning. First off, a look at downtown Tuscaloosa. Things are dry. Sky's cloudy. That's uh, Lurling B. Wallace Boulevard is seen right behind the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. There's a look at downtown Clanton in Chilton County. That's the City Hall. And a peek at our Gulf Shore Sky Camp from atop the Phoenix All Suites. Things are calm on a May morning on the Alabama Gulf Coast. There's a peek at the water vapor satellite view over the eastern half of the nation. Pretty moist air in place. Uh, we do note drier air east of here over the Carolinas and Georgia, but that will not really be affecting us. And active convection to the north and west. That's a radar at 506 this morning. Got some uh, showers and storms over Mississippi and western Tennessee. And you know the deal. Those things tend to lay down boundaries that will be the focus for storms later in the day today. And, of course, we probably have a plethora of boundaries left over from the storms we had last night in Alabama. And uh, severe weather possibilities. And these are hard to define this time of the year because with these pulse-type severe storms, they're not really like the classic you know, severe storms, the supercells. But nonetheless, the guys at SPC have northwest Alabama under the standard slight risk. And that larger risk area runs all the way from northeast Texas into much of Ohio. And the main threat will be from hail and gusty winds. The tornado threat here is basically non-existent. Tomorrow, we have the low end 5% probabilities across most of Alabama. And it's the same deal as today. You know, the storms could produce hail and gusty winds. And on day three, which is Wednesday, the risk is defined for southeast Alabama. But again, I think almost anybody could see a strong storm on Wednesday. So really today, tomorrow, Wednesday, yes, yeah, showers and strong storms around. Rain for the next five days, valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. And this is suggesting oh, about one inch of rain here. And clearly some people will get more. I mean, uh, the heavier downpours can drop one inch in 30 minutes or so. But it's going to be spotty. The, the coverage will not be uniform because of the scattered nature of the storms. But Thursday and Friday look dry, as you'll see. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. We've got uh, a strong shortwave over the northern states. We'll keep an eye on that, and that will be affecting us later in the week. We've got energy over the southwest United States. And again, uh, the models are starting to, to agree that those will not be phasing up. Down below that, we're just in this moist air mass. So uh, like yesterday, we'll have uh, warm, muggy conditions with scattered showers and storms. The high should be in the mid-80s today. Both the GFS and the NAM are at 84. Same thing tomorrow. Cold front north and west of the state, so pretty decent chance of showers and storms. Probably low to mid-80s tomorrow. Wednesday, the front begins to come on through, and again, that could serve as a pretty good little focusing mechanism for some strong storms perhaps and the thickness values are coming down high should drop into the upper 70s on wednesday and uh over northwest alabama the air starts to dry out during the day as the more active storms shift onto the south and east and then thursday there's your troughing over the east and you can see nothing phased up we've got that uh, disturbance uh over the big bend region of texas on the rio grande detached from the upper trough over the northeast and we'll kind of keep an eye on that West Texas disturbance. But down below that, we are clearly in dry, stable, refreshing air on Thursday. Should be a sunny day with a high in the upper 70s. Low humidity will start the day well down in the 50s. And uh, Friday looks good. Friday morning, we'll probably see some 40s for the cooler valleys. And the high Friday will be around 80. And again, the sky mostly sunny. But note the disturbance over Texas where rain is falling. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, what's left of the Texas feature is beginning to move in from the west. And so that brings in some moisture. And while it doesn't look like the rain will be widespread on Saturday, we'll have to mention at least the chance of a shower in spots. And Sunday, the same deal. So for the weekend, it'll be your classic mix of sun and scattered showers and maybe a storm both days. And highs should be close to 80 on Saturday and Sunday. And Monday of next week, a week from today, pretty much the same deal. There could be a shower, but that's suggesting nothing widespread. We'll check the end of the forecast on May 22nd. That looks like summer, doesn't it? And hey, that's May 22nd. We're almost into meteorological summer. The westerlies are on the Canadian border. Got that big old 588 
heat bubble to the west and the winds are loft or light and variable and there's enough moisture for scattered afternoon showers and storms. You'll be hearing that a lot in coming months. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or on the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.